this is this is really great. So let me share my screen and then. Excellent, excellent. So dear viewers, uh, it's a pleasure to talk about PharmaTech at this uh, Innovators Gate conference. In the pharmaceutical industry, innovation is the key to success and growth. Despite a demanding scientific and regulatory environment, innovation here is diverse. 103 marketing authorizations were granted in the USA over the past two years. Of course, innovation must adapt to ever more demanding expectations of patients. I predict that over the next few decades, the pharmaceutical industry will gradually shift from being a supplier of drugs to being a lifelong companion to the patient, a companion capable of continuously supporting the monitoring and maintenance of the patient's well-being, both physical and mental. It turns out that this transition has already begun thanks to the current technological revolution. We are gradually moving from the age of information to the age of imagination. To keep a current overview, we are going to evaluate some recent technological transformations and investment opportunities by following the stages of drug development and commercialization. Obviously, we start with applied research and preclinical development. Cancer treatment appears to be the most studied field. However, regardless of the indication, the main challenges are to identify a promising therapeutic target and to determine the best drug candidates that will interact with this therapeutic target. In an effort to improve existing methods, pharmaceutical companies are investing heavily in digital technologies. For example, they use machine learning to identify potential therapeutic targets from the millions of scientific articles published worldwide. High potential investment opportunities include many fields, such as microfluidics, multi-omics technologies, and in a more therapeutic approach, nanomedicine and biotechnologies. In this maze of uncertain opportunities, pharmaceutical companies are reducing risk by increasingly entering into strategic partnerships with startups identified as promising. The recent successful collaboration between Pfizer and BioNTech as, um, is really considered uh, for the development of COVID-19 vaccine immediately comes to mind. Clinical trials, let's move to the next step. These clinical trials take time, are expensive, and globally, their success rate reached only 8% in the period from 2011 to 2020. Here, too, the digital revolution is changing the outlook. For example, the Internet of Things facilitates the decentralization of clinical trials to the home of the volunteers. Another interesting point is the need for better standardization of real-world data in order to simplify pharmacovigilance, the drug safety monitoring activities. Let's move on to drug manufacturing. Pharmaceutical companies are now more reluctant to control the end-to-end -end value of chains. Thus, for the drug production phase, they prefer to enter into strategic partnerships, especially with contract development and manufacturing organization. As a result, the CDMO industry is restructuring. In terms of technology, automation of production and quality assessment is in high demand. In addition, mixed reality is becoming more important in manufacturing maintenance and personnel training. The drug supply chain and distribution also benefit from the digital revolution. Numerous opportunities exist, notably the optimization of process agility and process integration. The last step in our overview covers the marketing and the use of medicines. For pharmaceutical companies, digital marketing is becoming more attractive than the traditional sales representative model. The relationship with prescribers also involves targeted medical communications. It means technologies related to conference management and remote continuing education are therefore widely thought after. A final important opportunity among many others is cybersecurity. 
As information flows more and more, the protection of intellectual property and confidentiality of patient data are essential to the credibility and even the survival of pharmaceutical companies. To conclude my presentation, I would like to emphasize that the digitization of pharmaceutical industry represents a major step forward to further innovate. In the future, especially, especially with uh, quantum computing and related technologies, we may enter the virtual world of probabilities and ubiquity. We may be able to experience several alternative situations in parallel. This possibility could allow us to look at the challenge of disease from different angles simultaneously, and then better design treatments. Innovation still needs the human imagination. As Albert Einstein said, logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. Welcome to the age of imagination. Thank you for your attention and for more details, don't hesitate to read my LinkedIn articles.